Hey everyone, welcome back to Safe Fitness Train, and I'm JG. I want to talk about a topic that a couple of people have been discussing in the studio that I work, using the Body by Science method, and um, actually a viewer on the channel was, was, was asking about the other day. And I'm going to leave a link down below to a Doug McGuff video as well that I think is really useful for this topic as well. I'm going to be talking about a few things that he discusses in that video also. And, and that's volume, frequency, and intensity. And kind of before we get started, I'm going to define those. Um, it, it, there's some inconsistencies with what people may believe about the fitness industry and what's actually accurate. And so some of those things I want to address as well. Uh, frequency is simple. <laughs> you know, essentially, it's how often we go to the gym and work out, or how often we go to a studio and get a workout in with a trainer. And so, you know, with the Body by Science method, our intensity is up really, really high. It's high intensity strength training for a reason, quite literally. And so we do have those things to play around with. There's a lot of arguments about whether twice a week or once a week is, is best. If we're doing that full potential of our own intensity up to the very top. And the best answer is everybody's different genetically. And uh, that, that even when it comes down to volume, essentially, um, volume is how many repetitions are we doing uh, at, a, at a given session. So for example, you know, volume trainers, they'll, huh, they'll do maybe 10 sets of 10 repetitions or something like that. Maybe five sets of 10 repetitions is a little bit more accurate. And, you know, the problem with that is it's not necessarily as progressive as we'd really like it to be when it comes down to changing our weights and moving them up accordingly. But like I said, everybody's genetics is a little bit different. And so, you know, we even can tweak the intensity of the workout. Uh, and bring it down just a little bit in order to maintain and get to just the perfect genetic potential, essentially, that we could be at. But here's what we do know. Getting to absolute muscle fatigue for everybody is beneficial. That's why that's the baseline that's set in the Body by Science method. If we get to fatigue in the full body at least once a week, we will get all of the health benefits of exercise, essentially. And, you know, when we talk about exercise, what I'm always going to be meaning is strength training. Because in strength training, that's the only way that we can get all of those health benefits that so many doctors attribute to fitness and tell you all you need to do is exercise. Well, unfortunately, a lot of doctors don't understand that strength training is really the only way to gain those health benefits that we're talking about. That's neither here nor there. There's a hundred videos I could make on that. But back to the topic at hand, I think it's important to address the question, what is intensity? And when I say that, you know, there's so many people that have these opinions about what intensity may be. Some people may judge it as the amount of weight that we're lifting. Well, no, essentially that would just be a measure of an individual's um, capacity for intensity. Um, and the same thing with uh, heart rate. You know, if your heart rate's really high or to a certain level, then that's where it gets intense. And that's also not a good definition. Essentially, what we're talking about when we talk about intensity is how much work we are capable of doing. It's, it's simply a measurement of how much can we do and how much are we doing. So here's a really good example that Drew Bay made in one of his videos. You know, here in high intensity training, when we're doing the body by science method, we may begin at 80% of our maximum potential intensity. And then we continue with those very slow repetitions we're doing, say on the leg press. We continue through it, we get maybe five, seven repetitions. And when we get to that very last repetition where we can't push any further, we hit that maximum full fatigue at 99% or even 100% of our maximum capacity that's a good measure of intensity. Essentially, how much are we, how much work and force are we able to put upon our body? Because when we're working our muscles, we're essentially working all the other organs in our body in accordance with that. Uh, everything kind of works together. And so that, that's how it would best define intensity. So when it comes down to it, like I said, you can kind of tweak those 
stimulus, essentially, um, to where volume, intensity, and frequency can be adjusted according to what suits your needs better. You know, for most of us, we're very attracted to the idea that we only have to do this workout for twice a week. That's one of the biggest reasons that I, I do this. Um, and, and so my intensity is all the way up. That's, that's what we're going to be doing here at The Perfect Workout. Um, and, you know, there's a, there's a studio in Austin. I'm here in south of Houston, but up in Austin, Texas, there's a studio called Efficient Exercise. Uh, there's not a perfect workout there in Austin. And, and efficient exercise is really the best way to define the body by science method, essentially, because uh, we, we really only have to rock this out for about 40 minutes a week at, th at the maximum if our intensity is up all the way. And that, that's suitable for people of all genetic levels. You may not be able to reach your maximum genetic um, uh, perfection with, with strength training if you don't tweak those three levers a little bit. And that video that I posted below with Dr. McGuff and what he's talking about here is that we could imagine that those three different functions or th three different things, volume, intensity, frequency, they're on these levers, these slide bars like a recording studio. And as you amp one up all the way to the top, the other two have to be brought down a little bit. And that's essentially what you have to play with, those, those three knobs. He made a pretty fun analogy. Um, he said, you know, uh, you could live in a cool place, <laughs> you could make a bunch of money, or you could have a bunch of free time. And those are the three knobs that you'd have to play with with that. And it makes a whole lot of sense in accordance with strength training and frequency, intensity, and volume, essentially. And when it comes down to it, you can probably have one of those all the way up to the top. Uh, the good thing is, is that I don't want my frequency to be up to the top. I want my frequency to be down low. I'm doing this workout twice a week, and that's really all that's necessary, 20 to 40 minutes, essentially. Um, and then, you know, of course, when it comes to volume, that's going to be very low as well. Maybe on that leg press, I'll get about 8 to 10 repetitions before I hit that 100% muscular fatigue, and I can't push any further. And that's where we get uh, an explosive amount of muscle growth. Now, here's the thing that Dr. McGuff kind of addresses in that, that other video that I put down below by, by him. He made it maybe about four years ago. He says, you know, you can get results, of course, with changing those things. You know, he even says himself, body by science uh, as a method, it's a baseline for what you can create with your own workouts. Um, the efficiency thing matters so much to me, essentially, that... I know I'm getting all the health benefits that I need through exercise. I'm going to continue to do things this way. In fact, I'll probably actually um, continue doing things a little bit different. Maybe do a three-way split, another, another option that's listed in the Body by Science uh, book. And I'll probably post some videos on my progression with that as time goes forward. Um, but I just wanted to address some of those things and kind of give you an idea that, you know, when it comes down to us, everybody's genetic perfection, the perfect place to, to measure those three things in, it's all going to be very different than another individual. And so playing around with those things, of course, if you really want and are obsessed with that idea of really getting to that maximum genetic potential, uh, getting the absolute most out of every single workout, because that's the obsession of yours, and that's not most of ours. Most of us that are into Body by Science, we care more about efficiency, health, longevity. We want to live longer. In fact, I, you know, I am definitely going to make videos on this in the future, but I was talking a little bit about uh, doctors and how they view fitness and exercise. I've seen doctors tell older women, all you need to do is walk and that'll help your osteoporosis. And that could not be further from the truth. And it's because so many people don't understand what real exercise is. If I had one thing to tell every single human being on this planet, it would be to do strength training in some way, whatever way that you feel is best for you. There's nothing wrong with volume training. Um, it's not for me. It's definitely not what I'm choosing to do. I just simply don't have the time to do it. Heck, I barely have time to make a YouTube video someday. So just so just so we're clear, you know, we can get all of the important health benefits 
out of exercise by just doing strength training once or twice a week, essentially, with our intensity all the way up. And that is the Body by Science Method. Um, hey, please, uh, if you've gotten anything out of this video, if you enjoyed it, if you're liking what I'm putting out there, subscribe to my channel, uh, like the video, share it with somebody if you know you feel like uh, it would help somebody else understand essentially what exercise is or any of these concepts that I'm talking about. Links below my website, I'm talking about high intensity training. Um, of course, we're here in the studio at the perfect workout. I'm here south of Houston. Uh, we have studios all over the U.S., but we also have Zoom training, one-on-one -on -one fitness available all over the world internationally. All those links are down below, so check them out. And like I always say, and this is important, I really do hope that you do this strength training of some sort because it will help you live a longer life, and I hope that you do live a longer life through strength training. I'll see you on the next video. Have a good day.